lot of installers ask us uh, questions about how the Dynaudio Studio Series LCR speakers um, go together for, for installation. So I'll start with um, telling you uh, what you're going to see when you unbox their speakers. Um, the, two, the two speakers in question here are, this is called an S4 LCR 65W. This deals with uh, bass and lower, lower mid-range. Um, and this is the LCR, sorry, the S4 LCR MT, which is the mid-tweeter module. And um, when you unbox them, you'll have two pieces here. You'll have the, the, the speaker module itself that sits in this installation frame. And in the box, there'll be these magnetic end caps as well. Two for that speaker and two for this speaker. And I'm going to point out um, just what you do with these first, because if you're going to install these separately, in the wall with separate cutouts as in this example and the reason why these are separate is because we may have joists running down here in the wall below the TV so we've got to separate the speakers in that case what you're going to do is you're going to fit these end caps back onto the speakers there we go that's one there. You're going to use these two with this single speaker. So then when that goes in the wall and it has a grill over it, the grill will sit nice and tight and the speaker's nicely finished with a border all the way around. I'll just put that there. And then for the LCR MT, it'd be the same thing. You're going to fit those ends on and it will fit into that hole. What we're going to do now is get the first module into our wall, into the wall. Um, so I've got to take the, the module out of the frame. So to do that I'm going to unclick it like this and just pop that out, put that to one side. Then we've got our frame, speaker cable, the first one, they're, they're going to link across. That's in there already. Let's get in a better position. Turn those round like that. And then I'm going to just tighten them up like this. Yeah, that's in like that. I'm going to put these back into their lock position. Right now, I'm not actually going to wire it in because it needs linking across, and that's a bit fiddly. But I'm going to show you how these go in, how quickly they go in. Doesn't matter which way that goes, because they're in the lock position, they're just going to click like that. That's the first module done. What we're going to do now is fit the centre module, the LCR MT speaker. Again, I've got these these uh, locking points in, in locked mode. Um, I'm going to mount it this way up. I can. I could put it in like that. I could put it in like that or upside down. But at this point the tweeter is going to be in line with, with my ears when I'm sitting on the, on the sofa. Um, I've got speaker cable connected that's going to go to the next, next speaker. This one here in the wall is coming from the first. So both of these cables have to go into these uh, uh, points here. And lastly, there's a switch on the LCR MT which shows 1W or 2W and bypass. Uh, 1W is if we were only using it with one woofer module. Of course, I'm switching it to 2W because we're using it with two. And that will match up the impedance and the output level for all these three to work together well. So pop that in there. I'm gonna connect it up in a minute, just for now. Again, shows you how easy it locks in. Okay, we're just going to finish off the installation now, popping in the last module. And there we have our centre speaker under the TV. And Dynaudio do six grill options for the Studio LCR series. 
One of those options is a, is a customizable grill that starts off a lot longer than this and I can cut it down to the dimensions that you, the integrator, require to fit over your custom speaker. Um, the, so I'll just pop that on now. Oh, by the way, this comes with extra magnets that you can you know, put one of those in or both of them in between the speakers to make sure uh, that the magnetism continues all the way across. There we go. So now we're going to look at the front right speaker, which is quite different from, from the left. Firstly, we're only using um, one mid-tweeter module with one woofer module. Uh, we don't need two woofer modules because um, this matches the TV nicely and, and we're happy with the output level that we'll get from just one. Um, but a big difference here is there's only going to be one cutout because both modules are going to click right together. With the centre speaker we had vertical joists so we had to separate out all three modules. So first thing is we put the frame together and again the big difference here is where each frame will come with two of these we're going to have two left over. So I'll just show you, let's put the frame together like so. We're going to have the mid-tweeter module at the bottom so it's at ear height and then we pop in one at an end piece for the top of the frame, an end piece for the bottom. And these just finish, finish the frame off nicely with a border and, and give you, you know, the magnets there. But we don't need those, those pieces in the middle. And from there, let's put the speaker cable out of the way for a minute. That's our frame in. Okay, we're just going to finish uh, the toolless installation here. So I've got the speaker cable from the AVR coming into the tweeter module and then a, a link piece of speaker cable going up. And of course, again, with that switch on the back of the module, it's now set to 1W because we're only connecting it to one woofer module. Whereas with the centre speaker, it was on 2W. I'm going to pop this in now. Secure. I'll put it in upside down so the tweeter is at ear height. And that just leaves this one to go in. So we are that's our positive and negative. These are all in the lock position. Go. It's all gone in fine.